Hiring your first employees is really key in developing your company and going from a small company to, uh, to a mid-sized company and beyond. So how do you hire those first employees, tactically speaking? Um, first, you really want to write down specifically what you do and what your new hire will be expected to do. You can't expect that your new hire will wear as many hats as you do. You're the entrepreneur, that's your job. But you want to be very specific about what your expectations are for your first hire. Second, you want to go to your state's website on hiring and find out all the requirements. Tactically speaking, you have to do this. Now, if you make a mistake, you don't need to stress about it because you can always fix that mistake. But try to get as much knowledge as you can from your state and federal sites to get hiring requirements out of the way. Third, use your friends and networks, uh, but don't hire your friends. Um, so it's important to find really well-qualified prospects and some of the best recommendations can come from your friends and your business networks. It is tricky to work with friends, however, because that does change the nature of your friendship. Fourth, you want to check and double check your future cash flows. Making that first hire can feel like you're making another gigantic leap, just like it felt when you were starting your company. So you want to make sure that you're not going to be having a difficult talk about letting that person go in six months. Fifth, you want to include a detailed offer letter spelling out salary, spelling out expectations for your employee and include the state and federal forms that you've located on your state website in this hiring packet. And then take that and make that into your hiring packet for future hires. So if you follow these steps, then hiring that first employee won't be too daunting and certainly hiring the second, third, and so on will be a much easier process. Thank you.